Mondays are our day off. Uh, yeah, I, I get to sleep in. My class is until 10, so I get to uh, relax in the morning. I go to class. Uh, then I usually take the afternoon to watch film and kind of Monday, even if it's our day off, it's where our preparation really begins. Uh, you know, you, you got to be responsible. You, it's, it's a long week. You got other classes. You got assignments due, papers due. You may have some exams. Uh, Bible studies on Mondays and, and yoga's on Mondays if I can have time for it, unless there's a pressing academic issue. Tuesday is definitely my, my heaviest day uh, as far as workload is concerned. You know, we get up in the morning, uh, I got an 8 o'clock lift. I have a 9.30 class, it's British literature. Uh, I actually enjoy most of it, some of it's a little dry. And I uh, got a little bit of a break, 12.30 class, which is Renaissance literature. Then we got a 2.10 team meeting, a 2.15-ish, go to physician meetings, meet for an hour and a half, hour or so. Today is the day we put about 90% of our game plan and you know, pretty much everything but short yardage and goal line. So uh, all the things that we want to do, all the things, it, it, it goes from broad to the small. Then we have to go right around and, and practice. And you only have two days of real practice time to get ready for a game. Uh, so these days are really important. Probably on the field probably around 4 o'clock and we get after it from there. Practice today, it was, it was tough. There was a lot more humid today. Uh, the guys had to really dig in deep mentally and, and kind of push through that. And it, it, was a, it was a challenge today. You know, I, think it was, I think it was a good practice, but I think we left a lot on the table. And I think that you know, if we're going to be successful this weekend, we really got to amp it up tomorrow and have a lot more energy than we had today. Tonight, I get to rest and relax. It's been a long Tuesday. I'm going to go home, prop my feet up, and play my PlayStation. My Wednesdays are a little more relaxed than, than my, my Tuesdays and Thursdays just because I only have one class as opposed to the two classes I have on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, and I'm able to have a little bit more downtime for myself and relax. I think we really did a good job taking the meeting room to the practice field. You know, I think today and yesterday, there's kind of minimal errors. And I think guys are, are locked in for the most part on the offensive line at least. That's who I can speak for. Um, and I feel, I feel good about uh, how we practice today based on uh, our meeting room preparedness. Wednesday's practice is a little different than yesterday. It's, it's more low key, but not by much. You know, it's kind of what's different is we install our, our short yard and goal line, and we have a we kind of slow down a little bit at the beginning of practice to uh, make sure that we we have that installed in our run through and in our walkthroughs. Uh, and it just goes it goes a little bit shorter. Uh, we go over two minute. We have a two minute period on Wednesdays. Other than those two aspects, it's not very much different from Tuesday. Being a student athlete at UNC is, is definitely a challenging experience. Uh, rewarding, but challenging. You know, there's so many things that go into it and so much time that has to go into it that you, know, you just have to sacrifice some things to be successful. You're doing papers, exams, some younger guys have study, study sessions, and that's just, well, that's just the academic aspect of it. I mean, you got football, which dominates most of your time. You got lifts, you got practice, you got meetings before practice. Um, and it's just, it's just so much time that's consumed that you know, there's not much time left over and it takes a lot of um, practice and time management and, and discipline to kind of you know, figure out what you need to do to be successful. Thursday, so I got two classes. One of them's canceled, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy that hour and a half block off. Uh, so I got a lift in the morning at eight o'clock. Um, Enjoy, get caught up on film and any homework, you know, in that hour and a half block and uh, get ready for my 12.30 class. I did get a massage earlier. Typically they're on uh, Fridays, but you know, we're flying to Atlanta this weekend, so uh, this Friday schedule is a little different, and so we had to fit the massages in on, uh, on Thursdays, and you know, for most people, a massage sounds great, you know, it's, you know, spa, it's, but this isn't Massage Envy. You know, this isn't uh, Club Med or anything like that. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely performance-based. It is not comfortable. It's soft tissue work, so, you know, they're really digging in there and, and loosening your muscles up so you can play at your best on Saturday.
playing in the NFL has been a dream of mine since I can remember. Uh, since I was a young child, I remember when I was when I was young, it was like first grade in my art class. Uh, we had this assignment, and it was supposed to be like a like a dream board. So at the top it was like while I was sleeping, I was dreaming I was, and it was supposed to be something that we dreamed that we wanted to be one day. Um, and mine was obviously playing in the NFL, so. You know, I drew myself in a little quilt with a bunch of football patterns, um, and I, I, I can trace it back to even even that early. So, uh, you know, and I had that. My uncle was definitely, uh, you know, him being successful, even though it was in, like in the '70s, is a long time ago. Uh, it's still it's like football is so deeply ingrained in my family, and and the NFL is the pinnacle of that. So that's just something I've always had a strong passion for. Game day. Game day is torturous, honestly. Um, the later the game is, the more, you know, it's just, it's kind of anxious. It's, it's positive energy, but it's nervous energy, you know? Um, there's just a lot, you know, it's the culmination of all of your preparations. There's just a lot that's gone into it. I'm dying, I've been dying all day. Like, I just want to get on the field. I just need that, that first hit just to get the butterflies out a little bit. Lots to think about and lots to go over as far as, you know, just making sure all my rituals right as far as getting my pads on and getting taped properly. And I usually write on my wrist. I always got a cross on my on my right arm. And uh, this past game for Georgia Tech, uh, I wrote my grandmother's, my late grandmother's first name on my on my wrist tape because actually the last time we had played in Atlanta. Uh, was the week that she had passed, and that funeral was that Friday night before the game. That game was still special to me because it reminded me a lot of her, and, and and just everything was felt right just to dedicate the game to her. You got my back. I got your back. 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 That game was was a testament to our maturity as a team. You know, the first first two drives for offense, you know, we knew we weren't going to get a lot of opportunities and we weren't capitalizing on it. And no one was on the sideline with a glassy look, you know. It's just like collectively as a group, I was witnessing guys saying, what can we do to execute our game plan the way we're supposed to? Uh, and then we went out and scored twice in four minutes uh, before halftime, got us down to seven, you know, got in the locker room. You know, we got a chance to talk to the guys and be like, you know, after we rested up, made adjustments like, hey. You want to go through or not? That's what this comes down to, man. Hey, come through on three. One, two, three, go. Really proud of the defense that game. You know, they really, even even though they were struggling a little bit, we went on a 38 to 10 run uh, after it was 21 to zero. And that's that's all we did. They, they stepped up when we needed them to, and that's what counted. As soon as we won, like, Adrenaline re kicked in. I mean, you had the adrenaline going the whole game, but I felt light. I mean, I remember feeling just so energized. You know, it was just kind of this, just this electric just buzz, and everyone's just happy, and it's just, you know, emotions were so high. And, um, you know, it meant, it meant a lot to win a big game like that because, you know, I've had a lot of great experiences here, but we haven't had that many big wins uh, as a team. And that's just something I was just so excited about. And, you know, just, I think coming off of just rallying together made it that much better. All right, we're going to give them Sunday off, so let's have them on. Yeah. So the pancake shoot, it's kind of just, you know, because we try to get as many pancakes as possible. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get as many as possible. Not real ones because I'm, I need to stay away from those so I can keep my my figure. I have a little chef's hat, I had an apron and my jersey. I had my culinary flow on a little bit. And I was mixing it up a little bit there in the kitchen. I've always dreamed of winning the Allen, and if they think it'll help, like I'll, I'll sign me up. I know that I'm gonna catch some flag from certain individuals that are my friends and former teammates. It was all in good fun and it was, it was a fun shoot and I hope that um, we get to enjoy it and uh, the Allen people get to enjoy it. So it's all, it's all good.